Hello lovely humans, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while, it's been a week, and I'm sorry I haven't been posting. I want to update you guys on how I've been doing, and today I will be reacting to some more Dead End Paranormal Park. And I just want to let you guys know, I'm sorry that I've been gone. I'm filming from a different location today because my last episode that I reacted to, which was called 22 Minutes, I believe, um, I somehow lost the video, like I thought it was recording, but apparently it wasn't, and I don't want to re-react to the same episode, but it was a really cute episode about Barney and his crush, and basically Barney gets possessed by Pugsley and by Norma and by Courtney, and he just is trying to impress his crush the whole time, and things go haywire, but it was a really cute episode that gave us a lot of insight into Barney's psyche, and how he does feel he's been running from the conflicts with his family by distracting himself with other things, and I thought overall the interactions between him and his crush, I'm trying to remember his crush's name, um, what is it? I can't think of it right now. It's something, it was a very unique name. I can't think of it right now. I want to look it up, but I didn't want to re-record my reaction because then it wouldn't be genuine. So I'm going to be reacting to the episode after that. But to give you guys a quick recap, I really liked the episode. It was really cute. I enjoyed it. And we are going to continue on with this show. Also, soon I will have a video up for you guys. Um about a vacation I went on to my childhood vacation spot and I vlogged the whole time. I don't usually do vlogs on this channel but it's a cute little fun thing I wanted to do as a surprise for you guys so I'm gonna have that up soon and also I will be reacting to the finale of Am uh, Amphibia season one so you guys will be seeing that soon as well. Um, so I want to get this started but first my kawaii item of the day. I have this little bunny. He is from the Lilith line of dolls that I've been collecting. Focus camera, focus! And he is supposed to be the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland, the I'm late, I'm late for a very important date bunny. And look how cute he is! He's a he's adorable. He kind of looks like a little like teddy bear bunny. I love the little card designs on him, the card symbolism. And he's just super cute. He's a little baby. I love his periwinkle color palette. He has a little clock. So yeah, I'm gonna have him sitting next to me. And let's continue on with the show. Um, yeah. I'm gonna have a lot more content up for you guys. I just went on vacation with my family. I took a little hiatus and we all need to live our lives sometimes guys. We do. So all right, let's get this started. Okay, so this episode is called Norma Khan Paranormal Detective. So I guess Norma is going to be solving some kind of a case. Let's see what happens. I really do think Norma's like one of the most like badass characters in the show. She was very much like who she is. She is like brave and like totally in touch with herself, which I really like. And um, I guess she's, okay, so she's trying to figure out what happened to this Jennifer lady. Why is there like an in-between in this world? It's like, it's kind of like Stranger Things now. Like the fact that now there's an in-between, like what does that mean and is Courtney connected to it? I feel like she is. Oh, Barney has a family obligation? <laughs> Pugsley just wants his scratches. You deserve them, Pugsley. What? are you doing Courtney? Okay, is that like literally a body bag? There's somebody's body in there. I don't know how they feel comfortable living with Courtney. She's literally a devil. And like, she, yeah, what is that? Who is that is a better question. Oh my gosh, Courtney. Are we ever gonna find out more about her? I need to know. Badia. Oh, are they gonna team up and solve the murder together? That's cute. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> Norma is such an independent. Like, she just wants to do everything on her own. But I like Badia. She's cute. So I really hope that Norma lets her tag along for this. Dynamite Dora Saloon. Is that it? So this Pauline lady played like a bunch of different characters, I guess. Okay, Cowboy Saloon. Oh, their slow brother! Patrick is so cute. Okay, so... Look at P 
Pugsley how happy he is. Okay, are they gonna have the awkward conversation about why he ran away from home? It's already super awkward. Ah! Wait, aren't they kind of shocked that Pugsley could talk though? I would be. <laughs> Look at Norma just feeding the pigeons <laughs> with their detective gear on. I can't. Who's that? Oh, is that the guy from the other episode who's also obsessed with Pauline? Okay, they're gonna team up. Obviously. <laughs> Good point, Badia. It de they're definitely are like standing out right now with those getups on. <laughs> She's like, why don't you guys just talk face to face? What are you doing? Okay, what is that? Okay. Okay, so she has a stuff. Yeah, good question. How are they connected? Barbora. That's definitely not a name. So Pauline just had a bunch of different stunt doubles, I guess that were like out to get her. So where's the real Pauline? I mean, I guess Jennifer was nice. You kind of just kept saying the same phrase over and over again. <laughs> that doesn't really give us much information, Badia, if she just said bye. <laughs> she just kept saying, hi, my name is Jennifer over and over again. So how is that gonna give them any information? Okay, now they're in her museum. Hall of ex-husbands. Well, that'll give you some information. How many ex-husbands did she have? Okay. So these are Pauline's ex-husbands, but they're Robotronic versions of them, I guess. This is kind of creepy. This is creepy. The body is just like dancing. She's like, this is exciting. <laughs> She's funny. Who's this? Okay. That was interesting. <laughs> body is just like, yay. Uh oh. It's not really her wedding day, girl. That was just a show. What is going on? Who are all these performers? They just pretend to be Pauline. There's so many of them. Hmm. So they all impersonate her in the theme park. That makes sense. But what happened to this Jennifer girl? Like, I don't understand. Hmm. Okay. She, so Jennifer was one of the impersonators of Pauline. Oh, okay. And she would rank them on who was the best impersonator. So I'm guessing maybe Jennifer was the best of the best. What's the reward though? Wait, you're holding it. Wait a minute. So she tracked them in there? Interesting. Okay, well, looks like Barney's having a nice time with his family. Not too awkward yet. I just want the best for him. your authentic truth. That's good. Mm. Yeah. Barney, they're trying. I really want to see things work out for Barney and his family. No, oh, Pugsley, really? Yeah, we get it. Toilet water, you're a dog. I can't believe you did. <laughs> oh, he gets his scratches. I'm glad that Pugsley gets his scratches. Guys, I feel so stupid. So Jennifer was the Pauline impersonator from the first episode, I think. Because remember, she vanished in the room of mirrors. So is that who they're talking about? I was so confused. <laughs> Courtney, what are you doing? What are you doing, Courtney? Why are you having a tea party with a pretend Barney? That's one of the animatronics. She stole it. That was the one that was missing. I knew it. Why is Courtney doing this though? I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. 
Oh, it's because she misses Barney, that's why. Yep, Barney is on the right track. She's like, you're gonna miss him. Aw. Mm -hmm. Oh. <gasps> Courtney says, I've had so much character development. Way to break the fourth wall. And honestly, she hasn't. Like, a little bit, but I think she could have more. We still don't know enough about her. Yes, that was her. I knew it. So Jennifer was the one in the first episode. She looked a lot like Pauline. That's why I thought it was the real Pauline that went missing, but it wasn't. That must have been why she was the best impersonator. She definitely pulled it off the best. Oh, who is that, though? So they're going to try to find out who the murderer was from the first episode, which I want to know, too. What if the murderer actually was Pauline herself? That's a good theory. Because what if she was just, like... What if she felt like Jennifer was an even better Pauline than she was, so she wanted to murder her because she wanted to be the best one? If I am right, guys, you got to give me a high five through the screen. Seriously. Ah! Oh, they go missing all the time. The Pauline look like go missing all the time. Courtney just said it. Maybe my theory is right. I'm going to be really excited if I'm right, guys, actually. Pauline Phoenix, live concert. Not time for nerding out, Norma. Whoa, look at all of them that went missing over time. That's creepy. That's creepy. Hmm. Because Pauline herself is murdering them. That's my theory. Oh, awkward. Oh. I kind of feel like things are a little more tense with Barney and his father than his mom which is interesting. I mean, that's the mom. His mom is trying though, which makes me happy. She's really trying. Oh my gosh. They're fighting over. All of these food metaphors are a metaphor for exactly what happens with Barney transitioning and the parents having differing feelings on it. Oh my gosh, this isn't good. This is just really tense, pretty much. Oh my gosh. Ta his mom! You're welcome for giving birth to you. It wasn't easy, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh. What are they gonna discover? I'm waiting to see. Is that an alien just like that someone's digging in? Oh, it's a costume? Who is this? She's pretty intimidating. Yeah, they look just like the girls that were performing. I already knew that. How'd you not pick up on that? Jeez, Norma, we just saw them a few scenes ago. Are you serious right now? <laughs> I knew it was them, guys. Hmm. Uh, oh, poor Barney. I just, oh no, oh no. The fight is just escalating. Oh, Patrick, he's like, we can get more nachos. It's not about the nachos, buddy. <laughs> he's trying, though. Mm. Oh, is he talking about the, the dinner with the grandma? And that's what happened in that episode when that guy went into their worst fears. It must have been a really bad dinner that he had with the grandma. They didn't stand up for him or defend him because the grandma didn't accept him. And they should have defended him, to be fair. I agree with Barney. They should have, because if they really accepted him, they would have defended him. And that's... Okay, I think they should probably just, like, leave the restaurant and go talk somewhere else. Oh, Yeah, definitely more tension between Barney and his father, for sure. <laughs> uh. What is that? Oh, they're just gonna leave? Oh, man. Wait. Okay, that's mature. He's apologizing for running away. That's mature. Wow, you know what? Actually, I do have to say props to Barney for that because he said he owned up to what he did. It was wrong of him, I guess, to run away. That's 
really devastating to do, to do to your parents, especially for a long period of time, but he owned up to it. He apologized. He said, I know that must have hurt you, but I can't come home until my home feels like a home. So he owned up to his side of what he did, and he also explained that he still needs to stand up for himself, and he needs them to realize that he has to feel accepted and safe, to, safe in his own home. So I'm just like really proud of Barney. I feel like out of all the characters, he's had the most character development, and he really is recognizing his patterns and his, like what he's doing with dealing with his emotions. He's really introspective, and he really understands a lot about himself, and he isn't afraid to, you know, identify the things that he sometimes is denying. And that's what we do sometimes when we're going through something. We don't always pick up on what's really going on, but then over time we realize it. It's great to see a character have that journey. And meanwhile, Norma's just obsessed with solving this mystery. <laughs> Look at Pugsley's face. He's so cute. <laughs> Barbara. Oh my god, wait, they agree with me? Yeah. I told you, Pauline's the one murdering them, I swear to god. Ta! Vanya! She's a rich white lady and they could be the worst. I mean, she's not wrong. Wait! Wait, is that her? Wait, that's Jennifer. What the What is happening? What is happening? Oh. She told me not to. Who is she talking about? Hmm. Aww, she really wanted to solve the mystery. Aww. I love how Barney and Pugsley are comforting her. Oh, wait, that's... She's gonna, I feel like she's gonna have a revelation about something. Hmm. Wait, what's right in front of her? Wait, is that her? That's the lady on the magazine. She's the same, she's the same person, I think, wait. I don't watch a lot of like I haven't watched like a mystery themed episode of something in a while like I'm like so okay the custodian is the one that's oh she is Barbora so I was right I hmm I don't know guys, I feel like Pauline might not be innocent. Wait, what is triggering Pugsley right now? Okay. Why is Pugsley going through a poltergeist moment right now? What's happening? What is the truth? Okay, that's the commercial that Norma was talking about. What is happening? Okay, this is scary. Is that Demo Lucas or whatever? The demon that's in Pugsley? Something's happening with him. What is going on? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, is Pugsley gonna be okay, though? That's, like, the main thing I'm worried about. Wait, is that her ghost? That's her? That's Pauline? Wait. She's dead? She's a ghost. Is she haunting the whole theme park? Has that been the whole mystery? Okay, she's a ghost. Oh, jeez. I wasn't expecting this. I did not think she would actually be a ghost. Or is she like... Oh, damn. She's defending them. Oh, no. 
Okay, Pauline is scarier than I thought. <laughs> oh my god, Pugsley is getting sucked into the TV. Save him, Bernie, right now. Oh no, we can only see his little... No, Pugsley. Wait, Courtney can get them out of this. Right? Oh my god, where are they gonna go if they get sucked in the TV? Is it like a portal? This is... This is crazy. What? Buying time for what? Oh my god, she's a litter... Oh, poor Norma! Oh my god, she's crying! Because she's seeing her idol as a ghost, as like an evil demon ghost. Poor Norma! That must be so, like, heartbreaking to watch. Especially with how obsessed with her she is. That's sad. Okay, what's in the TV? Okay, wow, that's... Well, that was crazy. I didn't think we would actually see Pauline. I'm hoping that's the real her. I didn't think she would be a ghost either. Um, and now we don't know where Norma or Barney or Pugsley are. Um, sucked in a TV portal somewhere, I guess. Um, so I'm guessing maybe we're nearing the climax of the show. I am very intrigued. I want to see how everything ties together. I feel like Courtney and I always forget his name, the demon that's possessing Pugsley, Demolucus or something, Temelucus. I always say it wrong. I forget it every single time, guys. <laughs> like how long have I been watching this show and I just can't remember the name. But anyway, I feel like everything is connected and I feel like Courtney knows more than she's letting on about. I feel like she knows more about this whole Pauline thing. Um, so we're gonna find out. But that was a crazy episode. I'm really glad that the lore is getting heightened now. And I can't wait to keep watching. And I have one more announcement to make for you guys really quickly. Um, either at the end of this weekend or early next week, I'm gonna be uploading my reaction to the finale of Amphibia. I will be finishing it and doing the last two episodes for you guys. So I will be having the reaction to the finale of season one up so I can start season two. I'm so excited. So I just want to let you guys know for my Amphibia followers because I'm really excited about that. So that was a fun episode. I hope you enjoyed watching with me and I'll see you guys later, lovely humans. Bye. Mm -hmm.